Negotiators for UPS United Parcel Service and the Teamsters Union have reached a tentative agreement on a significant issue in their contract talks. UPS has agreed to gradually install air conditioning in its entire fleet of 95,000 delivery vans. The agreement specifies that larger delivery vehicles, smaller sprinter vans, and all brown package vans purchased after January 1, 2024, will be equipped with in-cab air conditioning systems. However, for vehicles already in operation, the current fleet will receive two fans per van after the contract is ratified. In addition, air induction vents will be installed in the cargo compartments, exhaust heat shields will be added to non-electric vehicles, and measures will be taken to alleviate extreme temperatures in the back of the trucks. The union has welcomed this agreement as a significant step forward addressing a long-standing concern for the union and its members. The lack of air conditioning in the vans has been a health and safety issue, with temperatures in the cargo areas exceeding 120 degrees. The union claims that UPS has received citations and hazard letters from the Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA regarding heat-related injuries. While the agreement on air conditioning doesn't eliminate the possibility of a strike, it indicates progress in the negotiations. The current five-year contract expires on July 2031, and the union is currently conducting a strike authorization vote among its members at UPS. If approved, the strike could start on August 1 and potentially have a significant impact on the U.S. economy as UPS handles around 6% of the country's gross domestic product GDP. Aside from the air conditioning agreement, other advancements have been made in the negotiations, including tentative agreements on multiple issues within subcommittees of the bargaining committee. However, major matters such as union demands for increased pay and closing pay gaps between different classes of UPS workers implemented for Saturday deliveries in 2019, remain unresolved. UPS has experienced substantial profits over the past five years, with adjusted net income increasing from $6.3 billion in 2018 to $11.3 billion in the last year of the current contract. However, the company has observed a slowdown in shipments leading to decreased profits, revenue, and volumes in the first quarter of this year.